few minutes ago, I was fortunate enough to sit down with the president, along with a few additional students, and I told him my story. I told him where I've been, where I'm at, and where I plan to go. There were several folks at the table with a similar story, and none of our training would be possible without the federal support of the, of the critical programs. So, Mr. President, thank you. With that, please join me in welcoming, welcoming the President of the United States of America, Mr. Barack Obama. Well, I just had a chance to listen to uh, four of your classmates uh, and hear a little bit about how they got here, where they're headed. I talked to Blaine, who was laid off a packaging company, is now learning how to operate high-tech machinery. Uh, Andrea lost her job as an HR analyst, but she's now getting certified in the fast-growing field of electronic medical records. David, who, in addition to being a truck driver for 23 years, was also a Marine, so we know he can do the job. He's here to retrain for a higher paying job. And you just heard from Robson, who was laid off two years ago. And you heard what he said. He was in a dead end in his life. And this program, along with his wife, uh, gave him uh, an opportunity. Folks know how I know about that. Nothing's given. And that's why we're helping more community colleges like this. When you take classes at a community college like this one, you learn the skills that you need to get a job right away, that does not just benefit you, it benefits the company that ends up hiring and profiting from your skills. It makes the entire region stronger economically. It makes this country stronger economically. Now I decided to turn my life around and go back to school provide for my family. Um, it was the greatest, greatest experience I ever had in my life.